Inspiration for creating cocktails can come from anywhere. Movies, life. Big influence for me is music. And today we're gonna make Bullet Train to Iowa for one of our favorite bands, Pussifer. Be be so you might be saying to yourself, I've never heard of Pussifer. What is that? That is a great question, Ryla. Really. Thank you for asking. If you're familiar with the band Tool, the lead singer, Major James Keenan, has a side project called Perfect Circle. He also has another, another project, project called Pussifer. <laughs> it is his own personal experimental group where he does a lot of different things. They make music that is exactly that. It's experimental, it's experimental. and it's fun. It's always a good time. It's always a good time. So on their latest album, they have a song called Bullet Train to Iowa. And God damn it, I'm going to make a cocktail with that because we live in Iowa, if you yes. did not know that. How do you use a name of something to create a cocktail based around that? Because a lot of people will make a cocktail and if they're not sure what to name it, they'll go through song titles that they like, name it that, oh, it seems fitting. Yeah, so which kind of, you've done. Which I've done. Several exactly, times. Several times. <laughs> and this time I'm taking a song title and building a drink around that. So, mm -hmm. so I wanted to make an old fashioned because old fashioned is my favorite cocktail and I like making riffs on it because it's such a good blueprint. You could go the easy route and use bullet bourbon. You could. You could, but we didn't. No. We use Cedar Ridge bourbon. And that is made here in Iowa. So yes. that takes care of the Iowa part of that song title. Right, the Iowa component. You start looking and dissecting things more. The band, or Maynard himself, lives in Arizona. When What is Arizona? It's hot and dry. Yep. We used Ancho Reyes to give it that kind of dry heat flavor, yes. which is prominent in Arizona. Well, that and I mean, Mexican flavors are right. very, also very prominent in Arizona. So mm. using a chili liqueur mm. makes sense in that way also. Right, exactly. And so then there's some sort of bitter component. And again, because of the Mexican culture, the mole bitters I thought would be a great addition to it. You give a little bit of chocolate, but also the mole flavor profile to it. Right. And it helps, I think, in my mind, it would help the enchiladas and the Cedar Ridge kind of like marry each other. So it, it takes a bullet train from Arizona to Iowa. Iowa, exactly. And then good old Demerara, because that's what I fucking use in all my old fashions, because it's fantastic. <laughs> of course, an orange citrus pill to kind of just brighten up the whole drink. Yes. That is how you take a song title, build a drink off of that. At least that's what that's I did. That's one way that's to one take way. a song title and deconstruct it yeah. into making a drink. Let's go ahead and build this for you guys. A quarter ounce of rich Demerara syrup, one dash of mole bitters, half ounce ancho reyes, one and a half ounces of Cedar Ridge bourbon. Add ice and slightly stir for 10 to 12 seconds. Express the oils of an orange twist and drop it in. So that's a really easy cocktail to make. Really the only thing you had to make is a rich Demerara. And I think if you watch this channel long enough, we use that in a lot of things. Yes. And I think it's a simple syrup that you should have just um, readily available. Yeah, if you're making cocktails, it's a, it's a standard. Right, and like I said, I really like them because it's you're not making anything special. It's things that are readily available to pretty much everyone. I think the Entro Reyes is pretty readily available. It's pretty available. widely yeah. available. And um, the mole bitters, I know you can get on it. Let's just give it a try. Well, we, we're not trying it. We already know what it tastes like. Yeah, I, uh, man, I drank myself silly on these. <laughs> in November. In, yeah, last November. This cocktail is so good. It's like, it's you take an old fashioned and you just add just something different. Mm -hmm. Just add a little bit of spice from the Encho Reyes, mm -hmm. and then just a little bit of that sweetness from the Mole. Kind of right. binds it all together to yes. help it work well. And I really like the cedar. I think the cedar does a really good job mm -hmm. of incorporating because it is really corn heavy. Yes. And Mexican flavors are corn driven with right. a lot of the starches. Yes. The sweetness of the corn works with the Mole, works to combat the spiciness of the Encho Reyes. And right. All of the flavors conceptually go well together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, I think it's, I think it turned out really well. I was really happy after, I don't know, it took us like a couple of times to like, kind of like, yeah. play with ingredients and get to where we wanted to go with it. Yeah, it was more, it's more about volumes and amounts than mm -hmm. it was about ingredients. Right, exactly. So yeah, I hope you guys found this video interesting on how you take a song title and create a drink out of that. Right. Again, bartenders, mixologists, whoever, home bartenders, you're gonna have a lot of different influences on what you wanna make a drink and how you wanna make a drink. You know, music is very important to us. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's something I crutch on when I make cocktails because there's such a huge importance to me. So you take whatever you want, and make it into a cocktail and, and, you know, give it a try for yourself. Take a favorite movie, you know, a yeah. line of a movie, a song title, a lyric or something, and try to wrap a cocktail around that. If you do, tag us on Instagram. We'd love to see it. I know Iceman is killing it with making cocktails at yes. home from 
our channel and other YouTubers and Instagrammers. Yeah. So yeah. Or if you have a or if you have a title or a lyric or something that you want to see our take on, oh, I like let that. us know. Yeah, leave us a comment. And cheers everyone. Cheers. Thank you.